thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and once again you are watching the Power Talk Show. Now before we took our very short break we were just having a conversation here with Sandra and Alan about how to handle breakups because I think that's usually the tricky, the tricky bit about relationships after it's over or even getting to the end how do you deal with that and the question we've asked you on social media is should you take back your gifts and your belongings after a breakup do you think it's right for you to demand the things that you gave to your partner the gifts that you gave the belongings that you gave should you get them back do you think this is still your belongings are those gifts Zako, Ama, do you leave it with your partner? Go on our socials at Y254 and share your thoughts, share any opinions, give us an experience. If you've had any experience where someone took back the gifts or you left your gifts with someone, let us know on our socials and we will sample some of those comments as we progress with this story. Now, while we were on our break, Sandra was giving us a very interesting <laughs> story because we've just talked about the, the progress of the relationship mm -hmm. when you get into it and then how to talk about these things and then even getting to the breakup and we've established that it's better for you to start as friends get into a relationship and then have open conversations through it all we've also said that you should have expectations but do not present your expectations to your partner up front keep them in the back of your mind and make sure that the person you're with gets to these qualifications. Now, we've gotten to the breakup. Tuko hapo, tunachana sasa. Vitu has ja out. How do you deal with that? Sandra, you were just telling us that you prefer not to be in contact yeah. with your ex yeah. after the breakup. Yeah. And that includes deleting their pictures, blocking them. And Messages. Yeah. At Instagram, social media out why why do you take that approach with the breakups oh it's help it's easier for me it's easier for me to move on you know because mm -hmm. if i actually liked you you can come back and i can say yes come back <laughs> you know yeah there's that aspect of you know i can come back you can come back and i will let you come back so i do not i do not want to give you that leeway mm. of interrupting my healing so i will block okay. you Mm. If I want, I can unblock you and still block you again. Yeah, that's me. Up until you feel like you've gotten I, yeah, over like this Yeah, like I've person. gotten over it to the point where even if you decided to contact me again, I'd be like, no, this isn't working for me. And we're in a different space right now. I cannot do this anymore. Mm. Yeah. Now, based on that, mm. you've just said that you might give the person an opportunity. If I again. loved you so much, yeah. 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 Even if they're toxic, even if they've shown you the red flags and everything. Girl, <laughs> don't ask such <laughs> questions. <laughs> I'm a relationship coach. Because there are so many people who are probably are the same way. Mm. They still feel like I have an attachment to this person. This yeah. person is a good person. Maybe mm. if he goes out there and changes, he can come back. Yeah. What do you think about that way of handling a breakup? Disclaimer, an ex is an ex. That is why it is an ex, an example never to go back to it. Mm. The thing is, if this person didn't make it as your partner, then they go, then they come. Why are you giving them that privilege? Because remember, this person understands your vulnerability, understands your strength, understands your weaknesses. So they can u use that. Like I always say, an ex akirudi, completely. <laughs> so do not, if this person, it didn't work, it didn't work. So mm -hmm. stay away from it. It was just a lesson for you. It was a space for you to learn new restaurants. It was a place <laughs> for you to explore new, new places and mm -hmm. all those kind of things. So it, it was nice knowing you. Thank you so much. It was mm -hmm. nice doing life with you, Baba. Alan, yeah. in reality, in reality, Aki, we can speak in reality. Yeah. Sometimes it's not as easy as it's you're not, saying it. But tell us, Sandra, yeah, it's not has as there easy. been an experience where an ex came back but and it, they were actually better than work. before? Just, no, just show me, no. Just show but me all I'm saying is mm. it's not easy. And you can expect, even right now, you can tell someone don't go back. They might go back twice this week, next week, and then the other week they'll be like a partner. But the question this is let, us, let us get to but the point where we don't go better. back. <laughs> it doesn't get better, and it's true. And most of the times that I have gone back, 
it has it has been hell and i'll be like no i wish no, I, I want never us, do that. i want us to establish how mm. we can get to that point of mm. how rudy because if we already know if you go back you're mm. going to get the same treatment or worse yeah why are you going back in the first place because i was how? younger <laughs> I will let us read some of the comments. Who could train me? Go train you guys. Let us read some of the comments on social sure, media sure, sure. and then come back. Let's see what you guys are saying to us and this is from Facebook, I believe. Moas you le wa embo wa embo amesema no. The question was, should you take back gifts and belongings after a relationship? Moas amesema apana amekata you story. Eugene Musonye amesema why take whatever I give out? Hata kama ina niuma, I'll try my best to forget them because already I'm having a better life without them. Ataka ni jampa akae nayo. Meanwhile, I'm enjoying the show from UK. United Kamwega Nandi. Asante sana Eugene. I think that was a very interesting take. Yeah. Uh, Honorable Evanso Ifani amesema kitu yangu ni yangu. Nikisha kupa ni yako. Ata de ni yangu unalipa immediately. <laughs> Evanso anaendea. <laughs> Ama uki, nish, nikisha kupa ni yako. Does that mean you take it back? Ama unamuachia. Um, do we have any more comments? Yes, we do. We have Jenkins Mwangi Wakwa Ben and Asema No. After a breakup, after a breakup, that's another life. Thank you for that input. Billy Wi-Fi and Asema Belongings, yes. Take what's yours, but gifts, no, unless they're not gifts in the first place. Yeah. Maoni yangu, but kila mtu na maoni yake. Asante sana for that take. Linta Wangoya and Asema, I'm really enjoying the show. Thank, Thank you. you so much for watching us tonight. Josh <laughs> na isoka and I say, yes, I do. Oh, Josh. I feel like we are a an oh, exclamation no. after. I know. Main man DJ go and I say, my handkerchief pia. Wow. <laughs> Tin Austin and Asema, I don't think so. Anyway, Sikuizi watu who gift on loan. <laughs> Maurice Weregai Nyongesa Anatuambia. Wa Muchanja Kabras Ndani Apondo Penya Natuochia from Asanti Sana. Alex Hussein and Asema, I say no, kuna kitu unafaku forget. Na ku move on with life. Allah. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Classy Jones anasema kiendacho kwa mganga hakirudi tena. Thank you. Veron Kipruto pia anasema no. MC Saka Classic ana to watch from Kisi asante sana. <laughs> I'm liking the take so far. Kuna a, a very good mix of no mm -hmm. and yes. Yeah. Yeah. So based on what we are seeing, yeah. kuna watu wenye for real watasema hiyo ni yangu. Ni nini? Mbona kwanza unazo wale watu wenye unaona ti labda ameva sweat yako kwenda date na mtu mwingine. Mbona <laughs> ungarie nguo zangu kwa huko what to make you do that Yeah and then there are people who say once I've given you a gift it's, it's a gift. yours yeah. I'm letting it go I gave it with one heart and it's okay so, um, before we get back to the conversation we were having, because I know that's a very iffy, it's a very tricky situation. Sensitive <laughs> uh, Now, talking about the gifts, we've seen this very, very often. Yeah. I think a few years back, there was this popular couple, uh, YUSA. Sijuli kwa kwevo na sweetie or something. Ali kwa menunulia mrembo gari. After breakup, ali endea gari. Na aliendea gari kuenda kuuza. Sia ti ameendea kuenda kuchukua to, to take it back. And we've also seen the situation where recently in Kenya, there was a popular celebrity couple. Wali break up, uyo mtu haka endea gari yake. Haka sema, hizi ni malizangu, nini ni? Mbona uendeshe gari yangu kuenda uko kwa watu wako? And I've come across people who will gift you even houses, land, property, mm. and they will leave you with those things. Ata vitu ndogo ndogo. <laughs> Alan, yeah. what do you think about this? Well, do you think you should take back your gifts and belongings? Ama should you? Una chiamtu, ju nilukpatia na roo moja. The thing is, uh, uh, even before anything, never try to buy love. Never try to do those things in, 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 in expecting this person to stay loyal unto you. It's the reason as to why you will end up being frustrated at the slightest form of disloyalty from them mm. so the thing is when you're buying gifts or you're doing anything for this person do do it from a clean heart as if you're communicating your language of love to mm. this person whenever you do that you'll do that without any expectations remember human beings we are fickle at the end of the day we will disappoint you mm. so do this this thing with a clean heart knowing that you know what i'm supporting th this person or i'm i'm just appreciating this person because if you come and tell us i'm taking your car i'm taking all these things 
you need to tell us also this person there was a time this person was nice nice to you why are you yeah. not telling us the, all this mm -hmm. kind this thing maybe this person didn't gift you but they they were they spent time with you maybe yeah. this person was there to comfort you maybe this mm -hmm. person was there offering solution there are some things you cannot substantiate so yeah. it, for me it's a level of maturity people need to date people who who they're mature yeah, yeah, what so you are test your partner yes because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but how do you return something how? you know how? i've even had these funny situations where mm. mtu anakuletea hata hair band Surely. Like, <laughs> you know, so what what kind of because uh, we've talked about maturity. Yeah. What does that say about the person who is going to take back this gift? Pettiness. Sandra, that's, yeah, because if you met a gentleman and mm -hmm. it also shows like your intentions for gifting me weren't no. that pure. Mm. You actually didn't want to give me that gift you just thought maybe if i gift her this she will be loyal atakuwa loyal mm. atanipenda zaidi and what not kama tupendani she doesn't need that cup she yeah. doesn't need that hair band hata hiyo toothbrush haitaji i'm taking it back mm. unaona so many people have lost in love so many people have you know mtu mm. amesomeshwa you know, you know how do you happens. take that back how yeah. do you take that back just mm. because to me to me break up sasa school fees rudisha but, but, it doesn't make sense una heal aje to say me sasa ume invest because oh the people who genuinely they've seen a partner it's they've painful. seen someone who yeah. i want to spend the rest of my life with you mm. i see our life together so they invest because mm. when you allo na mesema mtu una imetoka kwa roho yako it's yeah. not either you're buying or something it's just you're genuine mm. how do you heal from that because kuna wanaume wenye wa me invest like that the mm. educated there was that popular song do we remember it was it sijui stella stella, yeah. stella. <laughs> stella vende sijui amesomeshwa anarudi na mtoto na japanese alan how do you tell someone to heal how can they get over that and move on let's first of all even clear the uh, school fees is not dowry uh, the thing <laughs> <laughs> Hey, umesha out. <laughs> wow. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying your school fees under which ground? Mm -hmm. I can be kind to you. I can be a blessing to you financially mm -hmm. without demanding a relationship with you. And yeah. this, this goes out to, to men out here. Mm -hmm. No matter what you do to a lady, no matter all the gifts, and you've not communicated your intentions to mm -hmm. this person, let me tell you, your gifts and your money and whatever cannot tie down this lady. Mm -hmm. The thing is, you have to establish a relationship with this person. Be clear that I'm doing this thing because I love you and I'm doing this thing because I want a relationship with you or I'm doing this thing from a genuine heart you get you mm -hmm. can sponsor a lady or you can sponsor a man without necessarily having into a relationship with them so back to uh, our subject matter the thing is okay it has happened number one thing do not try to be so hard on yourself mm -hmm. forgive yourself for whatever happened it happened it, it, because you made a mistake does not make you a mistake you understand so so the, the, the point needs to be forgive the person in the mirror, love the person in the mirror. The, that love you're trying to give the people, people out there, translate it and, and love the person in the mirror so much because the person in the mirror is the, person, is the constant factor in your life. Mm. So people will come and go. People will come and go. You'll be there for the rest of your life. So invest so much in yourself. Forgive yourself at that particular time yeah. and and be like okay It was just an experience for me to mm. be able to move on on to the next thing and yeah. do not let that one that experience Change your perception about love. Do not let that perception that uh, they give you a perception about who you are becoming tomorrow yeah. So continue being you the right person will find you in your element and the right person will join you right there The person will appreciate that love mm. and they will be able to, to, to propagate the same love and you continue so uh, mm. True love still exists. So believe in that mm. that should not uh, shatter your dreams of getting a true partner Yeah, yeah forgive yourself. I like that advice That's and nice. I hope the, the ladies and gentlemen who are watching us are taking that yeah. Yeah. because that that is very true. Mm. You should do something with an open heart. Yeah. Be yeah. yourself. Mm. Be very authentic. Yeah. So that even afterwards, you don't have any regrets. Yeah. Mm. And even after the fact, yeah. let it go. It happened. The lose, the lose is on them, not you. Not yeah, because you. yeah, yeah, you're a good exactly. person, yeah. you know. Mm. And I've had this thing where I'm you should be willing to your person you invest into a relationship. Don't don't put your heart there. Don't mm. think too much about it or don't put the amount of money that you know you can't stand losing. 
ni kama bet <laughs> si ndio <laughs> una place bet so mm. ikiingia ni sawa isipo kubali and move on mm, going back to <laughs> let me let me tie that basi your comment to yeah. what i'm about to ask okay. next going back to your after breakup mm. mechana this is a good person mm. you were probably friends before yeah. yeah is it possible to get back to friendship without this awkward phase of trying to make things work again and it's not working out can you go back to being friends? I'm a human and I'm a Sandra, tie that to what you're about to add mm. to that. To all, I, I wanted Lawrence's. to add that sometimes you also don't know the purpose you have in someone's life. Yeah. So you don't know whatever happened. You don't know why it happened like that. You were probably sent to do something in that person's life. Yeah. So, you know, take heart. Plus, it's so sad. That's Me really sad. Oh, girls, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's really sad though. Eh. Some is sacrifice, man. But so got to the road, anyways. Mm. So, uh, can people go back to being friends without? Yeah. I feel like you can be friends, but there's that aspect of see, eh, kuna yo awkwardness, kuna yo like definitely. Kuna that stage where kuna your awkwardness, mm -hmm. and then even after kuna maybe one day you guys will joke about, you know, si ukuja kwangu or something. Kitu kama hiyo. and with the knowledge that you guys understand each other, you'll be like, nah, that's, you know, that's not where we are at right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel. And like how do you even create those boundaries? Let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. Cause kuna mtumu ni yata mbwa kwa like, eh, by the way, na iba read. Because that's <laughs> true, anywhere there, what that's you are willing, really. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's or even just closure. People say, Ati nenda to be tuzangu because I want closure. Na kwambe yo closure. You know, una rudi, mm. the next una day, rudi. <laughs> na vitu badu meacha. That's true, but I feel like it also narrows down to you healing. Mm -hmm. The moment you completely heal, it's like, can you, when you start working out, you're from eating junk your whole life, and then now you start eating proper, and then working out the moment you start eating junk again your body won't feel the same again it's yeah. literally the same way so the moment you've started healing and then this other person comes and they haven't healed or they they're in their own world they're in their own realm of energy and something so it becomes different you guys can't even be compatible mm. yeah how do you draw those boundaries alan how do you draw the boundaries and say even if we're trying to be friends, even mm. if we're trying to go back to the way we were. No. Can you have conversations about your, your next relationship? I'm a, like talk about, hey, you remember that night and you took what you sherehe and you took what How do you make sure that you have boundaries so that you don't sleep? Because it's a very thin line. Mm. How do you do that? Wow. Cheryl, you know, uh, sometimes uh, the best closure that you need is closing your mouth and closing that door completely. Mm. Not. But uh, in that aspect, can we be friends with an ex? It depends on the level of maturity and uh, the circumstance under which. Because maybe you guys are mature enough to handle it. Yeah. And the best thing you can ever do, especially to, to, to my generation, is people should learn to date right. And by dating right, I mean people, that's why I've always advocated for people should date with their clothes on. Mm. Because the moment the two of you get intimate, for a man, the moment I sleep with you, the moment my emotional tank goes empty, I've got nothing to do with you. But for you, you feel so much attached. That is why it's so easy for a lady, after, after sleeping with a man, it's so easy for you to go back, because you feel, ah, how can I move on? You know, yeah. it's, it's, your mind registered, registers the, uh, like you will be filthy, all those kind of things. So mm -hmm. for me, to avoid all these awkward situations is people to date right. Mm -hmm. Because what is dating? Dating is, 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 is a channel for me to be able to move from point A to point B. And in this case is, we are dating for what? For marriage so it's better for you to wait other than to waste because the moment emotions get involved there are some things will blind you you are the as a lady you will be at the disadvantaged position mm -hmm. yet the man will be at the advantage position because it will be easier for them to move on so mm -hmm. in this case if uh, if it has happened and your level of maturity can allow you because there are some situations maybe we were dating and uh, we are business partners what happens mm -hmm what happens so it's it depends under which circumstance so we cannot put a blanket uh, statement over the same mm -hmm. but uh, the level of maturity but ideally ideally 
uh, if there is no strings attached, Club <laughs> <What>? to... Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I was not What? expecting I that. know. I to preach here, but I'm like, guys, kuna baridi. Yo! We do not advocate for that. <laughs> Because the way you've said, it's yeah. very true. The emotional attachment mm. comes with the physical connection. You know, when, you, when you're there, when you're intimate physically, yeah. there's a bond that usually forms. Yeah. Maybe it's not even for the, from the ladies part or the gentlemen's part, but there's always Mshai Skyler in kwa FWB kuna moja wa na catch feelings. Lazima kwa na mse. Eh, so stay safe, guys. Nunua tu hita na duve. Kunywa tu chai, imagine. So, on that note, you've talked about maturity. You've told us about maturity. How do you gauge maturity in a person? Just give us a brief way of telling uyu mtu wako machua ama uyu tutasumbuana. A man needs peace. A lady wants peace. So in this case, can you can can you give can you provide that peace I need, and can I give you that peace you want? Because mm. mm. in most cases, the society has painted that uh, I'm all a man needs. A man needs peace. It's okay, mm -hmm. but am I giving my lady the peace yeah. she really wants? So if looking at that and how I handle issues, how I handle differences in this relationship, how how do I take? your issues because you need uh, uh, i always love saying this you need a man who will give you clarity not confusion true when we are dating we are dating for what you get yeah. you are coming in my life you are coming in my life as a partner what is my vision mm. do i have a vision that is so clear to a mm. point that you can be able to plug in and ensure that my vision comes to fruition mm. and remember when you are coming in my life you have a life yeah. you get so I should not only be looking at myself because a true man will give a uh, will give his lady an identity to be able to progress. Mm -hmm. A very secure man will let because she I found you in your element you are doing well in media. Mm -hmm. Why should I come and and because of my insecurity, yeah. because of my immaturity, yeah. I say you know what? I I don't need you to be on screens. Before you yeah. come into my vision, you have a vision, you have a purpose. Remember you didn't come here on earth to relate, give birth to children and die. Mm -hmm. You have something that you need to accomplish in life mm -hmm. so maturity will call and be secure enough be offer direction offer clarity and be secure enough to sh uh, to let each other shine mm -hmm. yeah and i think that's it really comes with the dating right yeah, yeah. when you date someone the right way yeah. then it's yeah. very easy to pick and tell yeah. if this person is immature or if they're mature depending on how they react to different situations yeah. now after the breakup to share breakup to shamalizana to mesonga mbele at what point am i supposed to move on Sandra, at what point will you feel like, okay, it's, it's, it's cool? <laughs> okay, but eh. can I while you're crying, go. But the thing is, I cannot dictate, oops, sorry, I cannot dictate what, how fast my mm. ex moves. Yeah. Me, I can only talk about myself, you know. I can't say, oh, Tulia Chana, Leo, and then, Oh my god what are you doing with that girl tomorrow yeah. you know it i cannot dictate that that's something beyond my control mm. people move on differently mm -hmm. yeah and even me I, um, today i'll move on differently the next time i break up with this person i'll probably move on differently depending on the things i've learned in this relationship mm -hmm. and the kind of person i've become and probably now the list and everything that i've actually gained through my experience of actually dating mm -hmm. yeah i think that really it varies mm -hmm. yeah with the kind of person you've actually grown into mm. Mm. i really like that yeah because there's no timeline there's no timeline there's really no timeline <laughs> i always say but me nisha no heal na one month mm -hmm. ama one week kuna mwingine hata labda alikuwa na mtu before yeah. <laughs> you can even heal right now and one year later something triggers you and you find out oh my i'm not fully i'm not healed. you're continuously it's healing a mm. healing is it's a, a journey yeah. and i want to remind you the question that we have on social media which is should you take back your gifts and your belongings after a breakup do you think it's right for you to take back what you got your partner or the belongings that you gave them <coughs> while you were together while, after you've broken up so let's read some of the comments that we have we have some more we have mwasule waimbu anasema no again i think i don't know if we've read this one yeah. 
I believe we've read this ones. Um, do we have any more, Timo? Because um, I'm finding it interesting that unajua kuna, kuna mix. Ya kuna watu wanasema, imagine chukua vitu zako, na kuna ingino kwa like, no, just leave it. Yeah. So it shows sometimes the level of maybe maturity, mm -hmm. or the level of healing that some people have endured. Because kuna breakups zingine ziko so extreme, they don't even want to talk about it. We have Newton Kamau. <laughs> and I said, my following with my sister who returned the iPhone, she was gifted. Oh my God. Yo, um, tell your sister sorry. <laughs> Nisawa. Atapata yake tena. Eh, kizito nyongesa ako locked in from Muanda, Bungoma County, Asante. John takes nyagaka mama's son and to follow na Abbas music. I think I'm going to plug up on a song yake. Tutam skiza. Um, Mbari John anasema mm, no. Mm, hudi zangu wamebeba zote. Anaka mna top na kuna baridi. Anyway, I let's go. <laughs> Guilty. <Just> Guilty. <laughs> Andrea, Andy anasema hapo sasa ina depend ni nini. Kama ni kitu ya bei kama gari, mi na iendea bana. <laughs> Andy, mbono mnunulie gari uchukue tena. Pavlov Denis anasema mimi alichukua my belongings kwa nyumba yangu. It's hard. It, it hurts. I'm so sorry about that. Trackmaster Kinara anasema yes of course. <laughs> hey Trackmaster, wo uchukue vitu zako. Livingston Akala Akwendani Asanti Sana Andrew Mugru, Mugove Anasema Z Uo Niwana <laughs> e, re, Racha Jose Anasema I don't think Neza take back Maybe ye anirudishie Pamoja Akiwanak City Asanti Sana Alex Hussein Anasema I say no Kuna vitu unafaku forget Now you move on with life Asanti Sana I think at Izipia we went through them earlier Where people were telling us that Kuna wenye wanataka na wenye wataki. Presenter Rono anasema, not really. Once you have dedicated those gifts, you should not t you should not go back for it. Because you did it by choice, not by force. And you're the one deciding. That is so true, Presenter Rono. Idris Tuambale anasema, yes, it's okay. I don't have any problem with it. <laughs> hey, Idris. Yo, wo mekubali. Exo kwa kuje vitu zake. Obed K. Kemboy and Asema, belongings are important, but when it comes to gifts, I think it will depend with the value of the gifts. Thank you so much. That is very interesting because I like that we've, we've gotten different perspectives. But because time is unfortunately not on our side, let us get an, uh, just a parting shot. In 30 seconds or less, preferably. Sandra, let's start with you. What would you say to the ladies? How do you deal with a breakup and how do you go about the gifts and belongings? First of all, it will get better. One week, two weeks after that, it will get better. No matter how much it hurts, it's going to get better. And also for the gifts, yo, guys, come on. <laughs> I'm thinking, come on, you take that gift back. Wouldn't you remember them? Like, I gifted this person this. Like, you still won't be able to move on. Mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah. Yeah. Where can we find you? In case you can follow up after social media, you can follow up. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to talk to you. Mrembo will say, please, don't look for her. <laughs> Alan, give us your parting shot. What will you tell the gents about the gifts and about dealing with breakups after? Uh, do not let a breakup define you. And do not, uh, you should be the one actually to give life into a relationship, not the other way around. Mm -hmm. So do not expect a, a relationship to give you a life. So, and after, let's say something has happened and the two of you have decided to go separate ways, by the fact that you, be, you were in a position to be able to buy the gifts, no matter how sentimental they were unto you, let them go. Because if at all, and if that you worked so hard to get that, it means that again you can work hard to be able to get that. Ata kama ni iPhone, ata kama ni gari, you'll be able to get it back because you have your hands, you have everything, and that should not stop you from communicating your love language to people out there. The right person will find you and they will appreciate you for who you are. Mm. And you can find me across all social media platforms at Alan Lawrence, YouTube, Facebook, all through. Ensure we connect so that you can collect from each other. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I've loved my guests today and every single take that you've given us today. My take, my final parting shot would be, first of all, you need to heal. Secondly, give 100% and have no regrets after. It's okay. Sometimes it hurts. But true love exists and your person will find you somewhere. So keep being authentic. Keep being yourself. 
And maturity is very important. Learn something from your relationships. There's always something to take away from it. That is it from us today. I hope you've gotten a wonderful perspective from everyone. And I hope you continue having these conversations with your friends, your family, everyone around you. Come back again next week on Thursday. We'll be here between 7 to 8 p.m. to have another interesting conversation. We'll also do a repeat of this episode tomorrow between 1 and 2 p.m. And it's going to be up on YouTube. So just in case you can find us anywhere. Follow us on our platforms at Y254. You can find me on all socials at Cheryl Blessing. Meet me there. Let's engage. Let's talk. If you want to be a guest on here, you can also reach out there. Asante Sana to the entire team. We've had an amazing team. Timo and all that we have interns with us today. And it's so amazing. They've made this show a success. Thanks to you for sticking to Y254 TV. Have a lovely evening and stay tuned because we have so much more that's coming your way. Thank you and have a good night. Yeah.